Welcome ulit sa ating channel mga katulay sa tagumpay. Sa bidyong ito ay magre-review naman tayo tungkol sa operations, plans, programs, and safety na isang subtest para sa Philippine Air Force General Classification Test o PAFGCT. Ito ay isa pang klase ng exam na dapat mong maipasa bukod sa APSAT exam para makapasok ka sa Philippine Air Force. Hindi ko magagarantiya kung lalabas ang mga items na ito sa mismong exam. Pero reviewin na lang natin para madagdagan pa ang kaalaman natin. Gayun din ay baka na lang din lumabas sa exam. Kung di nyo pa napapanood ang mga nauna pa nating mga video ay huwag mag-alala dahil nasa taas lang ng video ito ang mga link para doon. Hali kayo at simulan na natin ang pagre-review. 1. What is the primary objective of the Philippine Air Force's Operations Branch? A. Ensuring aircraft maintenance schedules are met. B. Coordinating with civilian aviation authorities. C. Planning and executing air missions. D. Conducting air traffic control operations. Correct answer. C. Planning and executing air missions. 2. Which program focuses on enhancing the Philippine Air Force's disaster response capabilities? A. Project Phoenix. B. Airspace Enhancement Initiative. C. Horizon 3 Phase of the Modernization Program. D. Operation Blue Skies. Correct answer. A. Project Phoenix. 3. What role does the Philippine Air Force's safety program play in day-to-day -day operations? A. Managing budget allocations for aircraft procurement. B. Ensuring compliance with international aviation regulations. C. Providing medical assistance to aircrew. D. Minimizing the risk of accidents and incidents. Correct answer. D. Minimizing the risk of accidents and incidents. 4. What is the primary goal of the Philippine Air Force's programs branch? A. Coordinating humanitarian relief efforts. B. Overseeing the implementation of modernization projects. C. Managing pilot training programs. D. Conducting air traffic control operations. Correct answer. B. Overseeing the implementation of modernization projects. 5. Which initiative focuses on upgrading the Philippine Air Force's aerial surveillance capabilities? A. Project Sentinel. B. Airspace Enhancement Initiative. C. Horizon 2 Phase of the Modernization Program. D. Operation Skywatch. Correct answer. A. Project Sentinel. 6. How does the Philippine Air Force's safety program contribute to maintaining operational efficiency? A. By reducing aircraft maintenance costs. B. By improving communication between air and ground crews. C. By minimizing downtime due to accidents or incidents. D. By increasing the speed of aircraft operations. Correct answer. C. By minimizing downtime due to accidents or incidents. 7. What role does the Philippine Air Force's programs branch play in budgeting? A. Allocating funds for infrastructure development. B. Overseeing the procurement of aircraft and equipment. C. Managing funds for humanitarian missions. D. Conducting research and development projects. Correct answer. B. Overseeing the procurement of aircraft and equipment. 8. Which safety measure is commonly employed by the Philippine Air Force to prevent accidents during ground operations? A. Regular aircraft inspections and maintenance. B. Increasing the number of flight hours for pilots. C. Reducing the speed of aircraft operations. D. Eliminating pre-flight checklists. Correct answer. A. Regular aircraft inspections and maintenance. 9. What is the primary focus of the Philippine Air Force's operations branch during peacetime? A. Conducting combat missions against external threats. B. Coordinating with civilian aviation authorities. C. Training exercises and readiness assessments. D. Enforcing strict airspace control measures. Correct answer. C. Training exercises and readiness assessments. 10. Which program aims to enhance the Philippine Air Force's cyber defense capabilities? A. Project Cyber Shield. B. Airspace Enhancement Initiative. C. Horizon 3 Phase of the Modernization Program. D. Operation Digital Fortress. Correct answer. A. Project Cyber Shield. 11. How does the Philippine Air Force's safety program contribute to maintaining public trust? A. By conducting regular safety audits. 
b by releasing public safety reports c by implementing strict disciplinary measures d by providing transparency in accident investigations correct answer d by providing transparency in accident investigations 12. what is the primary objective of the philippine air forces plans branch a to develop long-term strategic plans b to ensure compliance with international aviation standards c to coordinate joint military exercises with foreign allies d to analyze operational data and trends correct answer a to develop long-term strategic plans 13. which program focuses on enhancing the philippine air force's logistical support capabilities a project logistics plus b airspace enhancement initiative C. Horizon 3 phase of the modernization program. D. Operation Logistics Link. Correct answer. C. Horizon 3 phase of the modernization program. 14. How does the Philippine Air Force's safety program contribute to the morale of Air Force personnel? A. By providing incentives for accident-free operations. B. By implementing strict disciplinary measures. C. By conducting regular safety briefings and training. D. By reducing the number of flight hours for pilots. Correct answer. C. By conducting regular safety briefings and training. 15. What is the primary goal of the Philippine Air Force's operations branch during wartime? A. To enforce strict airspace control. B. To provide logistical support for ground forces. C. To conduct reconnaissance missions. D. To coordinate international peacekeeping missions. Correct answer. B. To provide logistical support for ground forces. 16. Which program focuses on enhancing the Philippine Air Force's maintenance capabilities? A. Project Maintenance Plus. B. Airspace Enhancement Initiative. C. Tactical Air Control System. D. Maintenance Modernization Program. Correct answer. D. Maintenance Modernization Program. 17. How does the Philippine Air Force's safety program contribute to the overall readiness of the Air Force? A. By increasing the number of flight hours for pilots. B. By reducing the need for aircraft inspections. C. By minimizing the occurrence of accidents and incidents. D. By relaxing safety protocols during training exercises. Correct answer. C. By minimizing the occurrence of accidents and incidents. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood mga katulay sa tagumpay. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share at mag-subscribe sa ating channel para lagi kayong updated sa mga susunod pa nating mga video. Sana ay may natutunan kayo at nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo. Good luck at maraming salamat ulit mga katulay sa tagumpay.